Tunisian culture ministry and Chinese officials and leading experts announced at the press conference of China-Tunisia Debar Heritage that they have made 10 new archaeological discoveries based on remote sensing in southern Tunisia. My supervisor, Professor Wang Xinyuan. So, uh, yeah, uh, today really uh, we are very happy because uh, we found uh, an important uh, archaeological site uh, from the Roma period. So this is this archaeological site uh, we found it and we detected by based remote sensing data. China has uh, high resolution data. Professor Hua Dongguo, chair of the Digital Belt and Road Heritage, highlighted the importance of the discoveries. The DBAR initiative aims to use space technologies for the protection of heritage, especially in the Belt and Road regions. Your country is a long history, a lot of, uh, you know, the world heritage. So, you know, uh, right now the relation between China and Tunisia is quite well. So a lot of Chinese people really want to visit uh, your country because you are rich in the, uh, you, you know, environment and uh, the, the ecological size. I uh, believe that we should have the more collaboration between your country and our country, especially you know that by using space technology uh, to monitor the environment, uh, to, uh, to explore some potential new, new sites. Uh, also, you know, now uh, Chinese president initiated some brand road initiative. We are in charge of the uh, you know, brand road, uh, digital brand road program. Tunisian authorities aim to increase cooperation with several prestigious Chinese research institutions. Now, we seek to develop this strategic technological, scientific and cultural partnership with our Chinese friends. It's a joint partnership between the Tunisian Arid Regions Institute, National Heritage Institute, Aerospace Institute and China's prestigious Center for Earth Observation and Digital Art. Only this year, Dozens of new archaeological sites were discovered in many regions across Tunisia. Tourism professionals and regional authorities hope that the discoveries will revive the tourism. Tunisia aims to attract over 100,000 Chinese visitors in 2018. The Tunisian Culture Ministry has welcomed the successful and ambitious cooperation project with the Chinese Academy of Sciences and the Chinese Center for Earth Observation and Digital Earth, which is one of the leading research institutions in the world. Tunisian and Chinese scientists are now working closely to boost cooperation in remote sensing field. Adnan Shawishi, CGTN, Tunis.